There are a lot of popular drugs being used right now for weight loss. From celebrities to influencers, pop culture is embracing drugs like Ozempic, Wagovi, and Manjaro as game changers, according to them. And for a closer look at side effects and the risks, we're joined by Mina Tedros, assistant professor at the University of Toronto's Leslie Dan Faculty of Pharmacy. Good morning, Mina. Good morning. Uh, what are some of the side effects that users of drugs like Ozempic are starting to report? So the most common side effects that are, you know, broadly common uh, that occur with it are mostly GI related. Um, and there, you know, there people report having nausea, vomiting, um, and GI discomfort and pain. Now there are also, because it's an injectable in most cases, uh, for some of these drugs, they also report some pain at the injection site, but these are kind of common and expected. Now we do know that in some rare circumstances, there are other more serious adverse events related to pancreas, uh, issues. Um, and there are some new signals that people are exploring that haven't been confirmed yet related to potential, uh, concerns with thyroid. Zempic, we know, was originally intended to treat diabetes. That's what it was developed and marketed for. Yeah. But people who are taking it to manage insulin levels, do they also report these same side effects? Yeah, so generally the side effects would occur in anyone that's using the medication. Now we do know that for weight loss uh, and some of the newer studies that are coming out for just weight loss for among patients who don't have diabetes, we end up using actually higher dosages. And with most drugs, what we see is that as a dosage goes up, you start to get more and more side effects. And so most of these symptoms, things like nausea and vomiting and things like that are expected to be a little bit more severe or more common as you increase doses. Now that doesn't mean that someone on a low dose will not get those side effects, uh, but often we see what we call like a dose response when it happens to side effects. What are your concerns when you look at the popularity of these drugs being used for weight loss and not their intended use for diabetes? So I think there's two important points. I think currently uh, most of the indications and the large amount of studies are among patients with diabetes. Now there are a number of studies that are coming out for those without diabetes and it's showing really great results. My biggest concern as a clinician um, is that people are going to start using these drugs, not taking seriously how their side effects can occur. And what we're starting to see is sort of bypassing the healthcare system, mm -hmm. using them sort of like as almost as if they're supplements. And so people are not talking to their healthcare providers. There are some serious concerns. There are patients who should not be using these medications or should at least be monitored uh, or have blood tests before they do things. And so my biggest concern is not that people will use the drug, but rather that they kind of use it without the support of the healthcare providers. Who should not be using this drug? So I think there are some concerns for people who have familial issues with thyroid cancer, some people who have past histories of reactions to drugs in a similar drug class, uh, and people who might be on other treatments for diabetes. And so I think there's just a very important conversation that needs to occur with your healthcare providers. And the first person you should probably talk to is your doctor or your pharmacist. Always the best advice. Mina, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Have a great day. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.